You know how cool it is being in your own city and actually loving your city and just walking around at 11 o'clock at night just filming random shit? Perth is okay. <laughs> fucking pumped what's going on guys welcome to another episode of life on the go episode when this comes out it will be nine uh, eight i think anyway um tonight is i'm so excited because this guy this lovely sexy little devil here is one of my very good friends we've been together as friends on this friendship ride for like many years many many years. years we're just going over reminiscing some old stories so i'm going to let him introduce to you who he is what he's doing now uh, before he plays the headlining set so uh tell the people tell the squad who you are what's up guys uh my name is jai uh, my alias for djing is gfa doing it for uh, about three three solid years now playing shows loving it have it any other way nice nice uh so what made you let's talk about so you know the show is about sort of doing what you love and, and figuring it out what made you get into djing at the start um i played drums originally and um i was really into uh techno and then happy hardcore uh, <laughs> when i was about uh, 15 14 and um, I sort of found my way into electronic music through um, through dubstep. I used to DJ house parties um, for many years, and then I just yeah, <laughs> you know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, yeah then, it, then it just sort of kicked off from there. Got my first shot um, at a club. Um, I played at the Velvet Lounge um, for a night called uh, uh, Trap. Was that with Trap Hibbert? No, it was through a backyard radio station called um, the Backyard Project. Um, and then through that, I got uh, linked up for a Harlem Wednesday, so I played it um, played upstairs at um, Capitol for a while. Then I got my shot at Big Eight at Shape, and then I um, just took off from there. Yeah, epic. And you recently just uh, supported Diplo as well, which yeah, is pretty cool. Yes, it was pretty fun. I got to play house. Yeah. Um, I was first, and I knew I couldn't play heavy, so uh, deep house and like tech house and like warehouse bass is a, a, a big passion of mine, like a bit of a guilty pleasure. So it was really cool to play a full set of that. Epic. Um, yeah, it was different, but it was good. Nice man. I love it how like it's kind of cool because like you know when I hung out with the guys from Pop Duck. Zach and Genga, and they were saying like, if you want to get good and you're young, start at house parties, and, Definitely. and it's awesome, that's exactly how you started, right? I couldn't agree more, I mean, DJing itself, like, um, it's, it's fairly easy to pick up if you know what you're doing and if you're really into it, but um, there are a lot of DJs out there that, uh, that sort of practice, they do a bit of a short-lived sort of thing, and then when they go on to play at clubs, like, they can, they can mix and they play good tunes, but they're just not there yet, and I feel like at, at clubs, you really need to be at a certain level where you can just absolutely smash it. Yeah. Here's one thing I haven't actually asked. So like when you're building, like like for me, because like I build businesses and stuff like that, and being sort of self-aware around your surroundings on like, uh, especially when you're young, like who you're hanging out with and, and just figuring out the vibe and when you go to help other people, when I help other people build their businesses, I can sort of figure out and ask the right questions and I see and understand how they kind of live their, their lifestyle, not their lifestyle, how they act as a person. And then I help them control their business right that way. Yeah. So I suppose you saying you want to get that experience because 
playing a house party and then going to a club, you really need to read the crowd, right? And that's what makes a better DJ. Is that right? Yeah, definitely for me. I mean, I played at house parties for many years and I um, I never thought I was good enough to play at a club. Yep. And um, I had a few friends who were playing out and they were good DJs, but I knew that they didn't have as much practice behind them for me. And that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, they were just really linked up and I, it sort of made me say to myself, you know, like, why are you so hard on yourself? Why don't you sort of try and further it and just throw yourself out there? And I, and I did it. It was the best thing I ever did. Yeah, that's so good, man. So good. I, it's really, it's been cool to just, just see you sort of like be you from... I just, I, I actually hate you, eh? Because... Right, I'm going to tell you. All right, so when I used to go to parties and hear you would DJ... I would rock up and then he wouldn't be at the decks and then some he's like disappeared for for some reason, right? So it was so funny and like I was always like I remember I didn't catch up with you for a while and then I heard you were playing I heard you were playing at Harlem and then you're playing at Big Shape at Shape and I was just like fuck yes he's fucking he's getting it he's getting it and then I saw him and then you just had so many people around you asking for your autograph and chicks trying to sign your tits and shit like you know that's <laughs> I would prefer them to sign my boobs it would be excellent so good alright well um, do you I mean do you so, so do house start at house parties if you're young uh, what, do, what inspires you what sort of gets the blood flowing because you're creating music now and then going down that track so what makes what influences your shit uh, probably um, I'd say difference like the difference between um, making music to replicate someone to try and further then to make your own style of music and find your own sound yeah. I think that's the real way to do it I mean everyone in the beginning they they, um, they replicate artists that they like in a way um, to try and better themselves but when you find your own sound and you find that sort of sweet spot of what sort of music you want to make, whether it's a mix of a couple of artists or whether it's you take influences from different genres and put it all together, I think that's the best way to do it because that's what's going to get you further in the end. Um, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's mad, bro. And um, so like sort of where... I actually, I mean, where you're going, you're sort of going up and try and just trying to grasp and, and, and grow and that sort of thing. Let's um, let's get some fun stuff. What's uh, what's a couple of good stories that we can share with the squad? What's? I'm not gonna tell about the one that you were, you were talking about before, because <laughs> I would get my ass kicked just in general. But what's some crazy nights you've had a who had a shape? Because that that pretty much some good nights. Shape. I've had some crazy nights, crazy mornings, crazy everything. One of the uh, most hectic nights was probably um, we did a, there was an after party for Future Music. And, um, we had like Block Party, a Gypsy and the Cat, uh, Borgor. I, I don't even remember who else was there. There was like heaps of artists and I remember they closed off the entire back uh, like bottom floor yeah. and it was just free range to all the artists like drinks on tap um, everyone was having a party there was decks set up so you could just mix if you wanted that, that was pretty loose that's, that was that's a good, a good night. party um, lots of other nights that uh, I probably shouldn't go into detail yeah. it involved uh, a lot of fun if you sign up for the VIP uh, Life of the Go you <laughs> might get this <laughs> might get the scoop yeah Actually, I should do that. That's a good business. That's actually a very good. Yeah, thing. Dan Bill's Aaron started doing that. He's, he's really? got Blitz TV. Well, I'm very jealous of him. So and then, yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, hundred percent. All right. Well, um, because <laughs> we can't tell about any stories because they usually get fucking way too weird. Uh, let's cut it off there. But um, yeah. Thanks for coming Dude, on. Anytime. And time. It's been a pleasure. It's been a great pleasure. And yeah, we're gonna shoot some film of this guy throwing down and making the crowd happy. Cool, bro. See you guys. Peace. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it.